Welcome to this tutorial on using the Nikon Brightfield microscope uh, to take uh, pictures of H&E and Alcyon Blue stain slides. Uh, so we're going to start by opening Nikon Elements uh, on the desktop. And once Nikon Elements on the desktop opens, we're going to select uh, the Nikon DS U3. Hit OK. And then once uh, Nikon Elements on the desktop opens, you're going to get this dialog that our optical configuration was successfully finished. Just hit OK. Um, and this is the desktop uh, that we will use to control all of our settings. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is we want fast focus up here in the left hand corner. Uh, we want fast focus to be a lower resolution, so we're going to select the, select the normal. Uh, quality capture, uh, we want to capture at the highest uh, settings that we can, which is, this is 2560 by 1920. At this point, we're going to find our tissue uh, using the bright field eyes under the microscope. Just click on in the right hand corner in the OC panel, bright field eyes. And you heard when I clicked it uh, that, the, that the shutter was open, opening. Okay, we have found our tissue. Uh, these over here on the right hand panel are the controls for the objective. Uh, we're going to start out at 4x. Uh, we're going to do a tile scan and then uh, we'll take individual images uh, after we do our tile scan. So we have the objective already set at 4x uh, so we're good to go there. Uh, we're going to go over here in the left hand uh, upper left hand portion of the screen we're going to click on the play icon and that's going to bring up our image. Uh, it's always going to come out uh, uh, not in focus uh, so to focus, we're going to hover our mouse over the image, and then we're going to scroll up and down uh, with the uh, scroll wheel to get it in focus. And down here, this is what uh, the software is indicating our exposure to be. Uh, you want the highest possible number. So right now we're at 522. So if we scroll up, we're going to go down to 403. So now we're getting out of focus. And to get back into focus, we're going to use our scroll wheel and move the scroll wheel down. And then as we're doing that, our exposure is going to increase uh, up to 829. Now if we do one more click, we're going to go start to go down. And so now we're at 492. So we're going to go back up one more click, back up to 830. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to hit auto exposure and that will brighten up our image <laughs> slightly. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to select our image and we're going to move off the screen and do a white balance. Uh, to do that we're going to click on uh, this icon here, the mouse XY icon, and then we're just going to pick up our tissue, with, we're going to left click and we're going to move it to an area outside of our tissue. This is a fairly large uh, piece of tissue. Okay, so now we're outside of the area of our tissue and we're going to select auto white. Okay, uh, we're going to hit auto exposure again just to make sure it's auto exposing. So now we're into auto exposure. And now we're going to do what's called shading correction. And to do that, we're going to move our slide completely off of the view on the stage. Uh, so we're going to go over to the microscope and we're going to move it, move the stage so that the tissue is completely off of the objective. Okay, and then we're going to go to file. We're going to go down to acquire in the left hand, uh, upper left hand uh, box, and we're going to go down to shading correction, way at the bottom, and then we're going to click on shading correction. 
Okay, so we have uh, shading correction selected. Now we're gonna go back to the microscope and move the objective if we want to. Uh, we can use the auto exposure composition and then we click once and that'll brighten it up. That's probably a good uh, setting uh, just to click it once and so we're now we're at exposure compensation of uh, plus 0.3 EV. Okay, so that is, so now we have our image in focus. Now we can start our tile scan. To start our tile scan, we're going to go up to the left hand, upper left hand corner, and we're going to hit acquire, and we're going to go down to scan large image. Now these tissues, uh, and then uh, so we're going to look at the capturing device. We want to make sure that our that we're on bright field color, uh, that our objective is at 4x. Uh, we're going to set our top and bottom and right and left coordinates of where we want the microscope to scan our tissue. Um, and we'll leave all these at the default. Uh, if you want to set up auto focusing, uh, where you focus every frame or every other frame or every three frames, uh, you can go into setup, which I recommend. Uh, the tissue doesn't lie completely on the flat on the slide, and this will help compensate for that by focusing uh, every time you want to take an image. And so you open that up. You want to click on make sure bright field is selected. Um, and then we're going to set a range of, of 125 microns. And then we're going to use the default uh, 25 micron steps for the 4x objective. And we can test it. So we're going to test by hitting the test button. And now what it's going to do is it's going to go below the, the focus plane. And then it's going to start a focusing up and then determining what the uh, correct focus should be. So that looks pretty good. So we're going to save and close. Now for 4x objective, we probably don't need to focus every frame. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a step-by-step -step focus. And then we're gonna click on every other field. So we're gonna click on uh, the two. So every two fields is going to focus. Uh, now we're gonna set our top and bottom and our left and right coordinates. So we're going to go over here to our image and then we're going to use our scroll wheel. This is a pretty big uh, piece of tissue so this is going to take a while. So we're going to just scroll down. So you can see here we're already on the left hand portion of our, where our tissue is. Now we're off. So we're going to put it just put the edge of our tissue, the left hand side of our tissue uh, we're going to put in the middle, we're going to center it, and we're going to say that over here that we have in the area, the left, top, right, and bottom limits, we're going to uh, select the left hand coordinate, and so that's going to select that coordinate. And then we're going to go up, scroll up. You can see as we're scrolling that we're starting to get out of focus. Uh, so it's a good thing that we're going to do an autofocus. So now we're at the top of our tissue. We're just going to scroll over this way in this direction uh, to make sure that our top at the tissue, that there isn't more tissue up here. Which looks probably pretty good. So now we're going to set that as our top. And we're going to scroll in this direction to set our right hand side. Okay, now we're here, and we're going to, we're at the edge of our tissue, and that looks probably pretty good there. Uh, so we'll set that as our right, and then now we're gonna set our bottom. Uh, it's a lot faster to do this um, using the objectives, uh, but for illustration purposes, I'm going to do it by hand.
So now we're at the bottom of our tissue. Uh, so we're going to put that in the center, and then we're going to set our bottom. So now we've set our left-hand side, our upper side, our right-hand side, and our uh, bottom. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to look and make sure that this number, the 10 by 13 fields, uh, seems right. If it were like 20 by 20 or 20 by 60 or something like that, you know that it was wrong. So you'll have to go back and then re-input uh, the coordinates. Uh, usually for the lung map for the human tissue that we're going to be looking at, uh, usually we're in in the 10 to 15 range by, by 10 to 15 fields uh, range. So now we're ready to do our tile scan. Uh, and all we have to do is, uh, so we're going to also make sure that the skip frames uh, without sample is sure. Hit the, uh, and then we're going to go in 25 micron increments. We're going to go 125 microns. Uh, we're going to use our optical configuration as being our current settings. Uh, so what this is going to do is it's going to move 62.5 microns down and then it's going to move up in 25 micron steps up to uh, 125 microns. And then it's going to determine out of those uh, uh, five frames, uh, five frames, it's going to determine which one of those is the best focus. Uh, we're just going to test. So this is going to go down 62.5 microns. And now it's going up in 25 micron increments. And now let's determine the proper focus. Uh, and then we're going to hit save and close. Uh, we don't, we're going to try and see if we can get away with focusing every other field. So we're going to do it every two fields. And now we're going to hit scan. Hit OK. And now it's going to start taking our tile image. And it's going to take uh, five minutes to complete this task. Well, now we're up to 14 minutes. Now we're down to 12 minutes. And when this is finished, we'll come back. OK, we're back. Uh, we're, that took about 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to, we're done scanning, so we can hit close. And this is our tile scan. Uh, it's not a perfect tile scan because we missed uh, some of the tissue over here on the left hand side. But for this purpose, this is fine. Uh, it's always good to have just a little bit extra uh, space. Uh, that'll make it easier to crop in Photoshop if you have a little bit extra space. But this is okay. We can uh, make this work. Uh, so let's look at the scan and see how it looks. And then I'm just zooming with my scroll wheel, and it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks pretty in focus all throughout the tissue. Uh, and this is a good example because there's a lot of interesting uh, uh, structures. Uh, we have a bronchial here. And then the bronchioles are always uh, surrounded by pulmonary arteries. And then these are bronchioles. And then we also have a bronchial here. And another bronchial here, bronchials there, and then here is a long cross section of a bronchial. And bronchials will have respiratory bronchials, uh, which look like these. Here, uh, pulmonary artery here. And then uh, here's another bronchial. Uh, and this bronchial is surrounded by cartilage. Uh, so this is what's called a more proximal bronchial. Uh, it's closer to the where the trachea comes in. 
And around the bronchial, we have the submucosal glands located here. And they're going to be surrounding uh, the bronchial. And then here, again, another bronchial uh, with submucosal glands uh, around the bronchial. Uh, here we have a terminal bronchial. And then the terminal bronchial is opening up into, uh, this is an alveolar duct, opening up into the alveoli. And the alveoli are the more, more distal parts of the lung. And this particular structure here would be called an alveolus. And because an alveolus is just one alveoli. So this would be alveoli uh, region. And then these individual areas are the alveolus. Another more proximal bronchial with submucosal glands, cartilage, and a pulmonary artery. Another bronchial here not opening up into the alveolar duct with cartilage around, so it's more proximal. Submucosal glands, submucosal glands. Okay, here we have a terminal bronchial because we have the bronchial portion opening up into an alveolar duct, opening up into the alveoli. Uh, here we have a vein, <coughs> and veins are uh, usually identified by not being surrounded by any bronchioles. Uh, this would be a pulmonary artery uh, because here is a bronchiole uh, right next to it. Uh, another pulmonary artery uh, with a bronchiole right next to it. Okay, so we have a lot of structures here we can image. Uh, so what we're going to do and then here's actually probably a vein running between the pulmonary arteries. Uh, we're going to save this image, a style scan. Uh, saving nomenclature is very, very important uh, because we're going to be using, because we have a lot of metadata that we contain in the file name. So we're going to, to file, save as, and we're going to find our drive on the network drive. We're in pulmonary biology <clears throat> under Witsit Lab, Kitz Miller uh, 2016. So we have to keep our images. We have thousands and thousands of images and we have to keep them very organized. Uh, and the, I found that this way uh, works the best. Uh, we're going to go into this month of December. I've already created a folder. Uh, this folder contains the date uh, HE for H and E. Uh, LMH is lung map human, and then this is the donor ID, and then this is the lobe, the right lower lobe, and then this is the block from that uh, from that lobe that was used for this section, and this is the slide number, number 13. Now that's very important. Uh, we're going to keep all this information here, so in our file name, when we save it, so I'm going to use this as a template. I'm going to hit control C and then open the folder back here and place control V and then we're just going to add the extension. Uh, we're going to put in here uh, the objective that we used, 4x objective, uh, and in here we're going to identify this as a tile scan and then underscore 001. Now, if we wanted to go back and take more tile scans, uh, if we decided we want to take a 10x tile scan or maybe another 4x uh, of a smaller region or 10x of a smaller re region, uh, we would give that uh, the objective name and then we would give it uh, 002 as our extension. And we're going to save it as a TIFF. Uh, we can change our bit depth. Uh, we're going to scale, so this comes out as an 8-bit. We can either keep it at 8-bit or scale it to 8-bit by 16-bit. And we're going to 
to do that and we'll keep everything else the same all the other settings and then we're going to hit save uh, this screen is just the metadata you can always pull this metadata up in other image programs or you can come back and open this tiff in here we're going to hit okay so now it's going to save the file to our image or to our hard drive and this is a very large scan so it's going uh, it's a couple gigabytes so it's going to take a while to save okay we're done saving and we know it's done uh, because this window will now contain our file name now we can also add uh, a scale bar uh, to this image and to do that we're going to go up here in this panel and we're going to click on this micron uh, we can set the different types of scale bars of how we want it so we're going to keep it as horizontal uh, and then if you click on it it places a scale bar here and we can move this scale bar by left clicking and dragging it wherever we want in our image uh, we can right click on it and go down to scale properties and we can change the color uh, we can change the width of the line um, and we can also change the size if we wanted to change the size if we wanted to so we have automatically adjust size checked if we uncheck it then we can set it uh, right now it's at 2000 microns and we just have various microns I wonder if we can yeah we can't uh, add anything here so that would be 5 microns apply 500 microns that's pretty small so we're going to keep the automatic uh, on here and you can change the font if you want. These things really aren't necessary uh, because we're going in our photo editing if we wanted to keep this uh, image, uh, if we wanted to keep the scale bar, we would just change it in our image editing program. And then you can do vertical alignment, align wherever you want. We're just going to hit OK. Now we're going to burn it. So we're going to burn the scale bar. So this is going to make the scale bar permanently part of this image. We're going to burn it. Uh, you're going to get this uh, warning. We're just going to say yes. And now we can go file. Uh, it's going to take a minute. OK, now we're able to save it. We're going to save this image. We're going to file, save as. And then we're just going to put an extension here, scale bar, to let us know that this image has the scale bar in it, burned into it. And we're going to hit save, and then save, and then again it's going to take a few minutes, a couple minutes to save. Okay, we're back, and we're going to uh, now take our uh, 4x images. So we've already got the 4x objective set up and ready to go, so we have it at 4x. Uh, we already have the quality capture, the auto exposure set, uh, so we don't need to, and we also have the shading correction set. Uh, we're going to keep this image open, and the reason why we're going to keep this image open is we can pan around this image just by left clicking on it. And let's say we want to go and image this bronchial right here. All we have to do is right click and say move this point to center. And now it'll move to where to the center of this image. And we hit play. And we're gonna focus. And make sure it's in focus. And we're gonna follow the focus uh, with the settings of what the microscope tells us is in focus. Now to take an image, to take a snapshot of this, we're going to just center this here so we get some more of this cartilage in this area. And then we've got the submucosal glands here uh, for this image. And to take a picture, we're going to hit the camera button up here in the left-hand corner. Hit the camera button. 
Now it's going to take a perfectly exposed picture, image. And then we can scroll to zoom out, to zoom back, so we have more room on our desktop. You can also move this, pick this and drag this image up and move it to the second screen if you wanted to. Move it off the screen here to the second screen to free up some of your desk space. So we have a forex image. We're going to save it using the same. So we're going to keep our template the same. So we're going to keep it uh, here. Uh, this date, uh, we're going to keep the date. Now if you come back and you've imaged part of your images on one day and then you come back and you're going to image the next day, uh, just keep it the same date as when you, when you originally started the image. And then we're going to remove this tile scan and we're going to say that this is image number one. And this is very important because uh, again this is telling us that this is our first image. And now when we take 10x and 20x images we're going to come back and use this as our template and then save it as 10x number one. Uh, 10x now if we take two images of, at 10x from this 4x image, the next, the second image would be uh, 10x001a. And then the same would be for the 20x, if you're going to take multiple 20x images from the same original 4x file. And we're going to say, we're going to change our bit depth to 8-bit to 16-bit. Save. Hit OK. And then we're just going to, we're going to move this out of our way. So you can see it saved this 4x image. Now let's find another area that we want to image. Let's find an area with good submucosal glands. Let's see if we can find some. So this is an image, this is a bronchial that has uh, some semicosal glands around it. Yeah, let's go with that one. So we're going to center it, make sure it's in focus, down a little bit, go into live image oh first we have to right click and say move this point to center now go back into live mode and then here is our 4x image we can't get the whole bronchial in this 4x image but that's okay. We're going to uh, we're going to simply take a 4x image here. We're going to capture with the camera button. our image. I'm, on, I'm just changing the zoom level. We're going to save this as we're going to save it as 4x image number 2. And then we're going to save it and then save it. Now we're ready to take 10x images. Uh, to do that we're going to change our objective over here in the right hand column. We're going to change it to 10x. And then we're going to play. And then we're going to set our focus. By using the scroll wheel on the mouse. Sometimes it just takes one click and then you're off. 
there one click and I was off so just go back one more click there oh, that's good focus we're gonna reset our auto focus or we're gonna set our auto exposure by going off of the screen uh, you can do this using the controls on the actual microscope on the, the joystick to move this off of the screen actually what we can do is pull up our tile scan here let's go off the screen here we're just going to right click move this point to center now we're off and we can let's go back here the center and get this focused okay uh, we're going to so this is our 10x image uh, we're going to focus by moving up and down sometimes it just takes one click of the scroll wheel and then you're out of focus uh, so just go back one uh, scroll click uh, so this is good and we're going to hit auto exposure again to make sure it's highlighted and we still have our plus three so really our exposure didn't change that drastically uh, now we're going to go set the white balance to make sure it's white balanced and we're going to click on here so we're going to just go off to an area that's off screen hit auto white and we're going to set our shading correction so we're going to go to the microscope we're going to move our slide away from the objective using the joystick Okay, so now we're going to go back. We don't need to move or slide away. So let's observe this first image that we took. Uh, here we might want to get a picture of this terminal bronchial, the part of this bronchial. Uh, so we'll probably take a we'll take a 10x image of that, and then we're going to take an image of these submucosal glands here, and maybe get some of the cartilage here. So we're going. All you have to do is right click. Move this point to center. Okay, we're back. And then we're going to set our expo or we're going to set our uh, focusing. Okay, so focusing is set. We got a nice area here. We got some cartilage. We have part of the airway. Uh, we have part of the submucosal gland structures in this image. And then we're going to capture. And scroll down to look at exposure <clears throat> uh, we're going to do file save as so we're here we're back we're here this is our 4x image number one we're going to change this to 10x image number one hit save we're going to change our bit depth to 8 bit to by 8 we're going to change it from 8 bit to 16 bit and we're going to save Okay, so let's go back to our forex image number one. Close that. Now we're going to get this terminal bronchial. We're going to right click, move this point to center, go into live mode, hitting the play button. Okay, let's see if we can get. You know, we're not going to get that terminal bronchi bronchial, but it might be nice to get some of that airway. So yeah, we do. We will get some of this uh, bronchial here. Uh, let's do something like that. And that means we're going to get it in focus. We're probably pretty close to being in focus. So just one click of the, the scroll, the scroll wheel can really get you out of focus. Uh, we're going to click capture. And we're going to 
this in your exposure, uh, how the image looked. We're going to click File, Save. Okay, so this is 4x number 1, 10x number 1. We're going to name it 1a. Let's change our color bit depth to 8 bit to 16 bit, and then hit Save, and then Save. Now we're going to look at for our image number two. So now this is our 4x number two. Uh, right click, move this point to center. Uh, let's pull it up and see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Set our focus. We got a good focus, <clears throat> and we will center that a little bit more in there, and then hit the capture button. And we got a good image here, a uh, good representation of submucosal glands, airway. A little bit of the alveolus, alveoli. Uh, we're going to save this. Uh, 10x number two. Change the bit depth. Save. And we hit OK. I'm going to minimize that. Okay. Now we're going to look at our 4x image of this and see if there's any other areas that we want to image. It might be nice to get. So we got a good representation of the submucosal glands. Let's get some of these submucosal glands. Get the live view. Oh, that's nice. And then get it in focus. Maybe pan it a little bit more. Let's see our full area representation. Let's get some of that cartilage. So we'll just we'll move it down. There. Yeah. So we'll get some of this. We'll get our image taken there. Hit the capture button. And we'll do a file, say that. Um, this is our second uh, 10x sky tiles, or 10x uh, image. We're going to get 2A. Change the color depth. Hit save and OK. So now we're going to go and do our 20x image. Right click, uh, move that point to center. And we are going to hit live. We're going to set our focus. So that's a good focus. Uh, we're going to hit our auto exposure button. Uh, we're going to scroll to an area that doesn't have we're going to scroll to an area that doesn't have tissue so here there's some stuff some little objects on the slide so that'll affect our, uh, let's try the auto white and see what that looks like. Okay, that looks okay. Now we're gonna hit the shading correction again. Back to this region, right click, uh, move this point to center, and we're back. Let's get focus. That looks pretty good. 
just drag along here. Now we got so, and then we'll take that as our image. And then since I moved it, I might have gotten out of focus, so I'm just going to focus again. They're perfect. The camera button. File, save it. This is a 20x. Of image 2a. on save forgot to change our bit depth save okay so we'll close this 20x we don't need this anymore we don't need this 10x so let's go to the 10x uh, number one so no, that would be number two and then we're going to go back over to this submucosal glands live we have my submucosal glands here here so in this particular one I'm going to we could probably get a couple pictures at this 20x objective but I'm just I'm going to get these submucosal glands in with some of the airway you can see the nice cilia on these cells. Uh, focus. Got to get focus there. Get that. And we're going to do file. Save it. And then we're going to save this as 2 to go along with the 10x number 2 here. And then uh, let's change our bit depth. Okay, so we can close out of this image. Let's close out of our frozen. Now let's get these submucosal glands here. Right click, move point to center. To live, and maybe get them in frame of view. Focus. <clears throat> okay, we're focused. Take a camera image. to save it. Now we're going to give it the extension so we want to keep this so we're going to name this uh, 2A1 or 2 let's name it 20x2002 1 Change the color depth scale to 8 bit to 16 bit, and then save. Okay, we're done for this session. Uh, normally, you would take probably four or five uh, images. We might want to get some alveoli in this, some, uh, get a picture of the alveolar regions of just the alveoli uh, without the airways. Uh, so, but this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to use the camera.